Alright, Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakotash. The blessings unto the elder apostles of Great Moonstone. Shalom unto the sincere Akim laboring across the four winds. With us, however, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai has scattered us as we are waking up in these last days. Okay, to who we are, to our nationality as Hebrew Israelites, you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the true Hebrew Israelites. Okay. Uh, this article of it says, are white South Africans boys fleeing to Russia, 15,000 expected. Okay. You know, this actually proves what the scripture speaks about in a, in a book of Psalms. Okay. When he speaks about these guys, uh, it says, uh, they're not trouble. Okay. It's other men. Okay. Anyway. Let me just get the first scripture in Ecclesiastes. Because there's a thing. All these things which are coming on you so-called uh, Caucasians, so-called whites, the Edomites, okay, the wicked, okay, the son of perdition, the Edomites, the wicked that the Bible speaks of, all right, you've brought this upon you, okay. The Most High is never mocked, okay. He's never mocked, okay. And, and there's a thing, you're just blowing everything out of proportion, okay, that's exactly what's happening right now. Anyway, Ecclesiastes chapter 4, in, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse, uh, verse 14, it says, For out of prison he cometh to reign, whereas also he that is born in his kingdom cometh poor. All right. And that's exactly what happened to the so-called Hamites. To the Tzlaki, to the to the Hamites, relatively known today as the so-called Africans, all right, they got conquered by you, whites, so-called the Edomites. Okay, you are the ones who conquered them, and they are still found in your hands until this very day. And amongst them, worst of all, you got the seed of Jacob. You have the sons of Jacob that you have laid your hands upon. All right. And you're gonna pay for that, because right, the law says, "Look, man, who, who, who the one that touches, okay, Jacob, touches the apple of of the Most High's eye." All right. It says, uh, let me read some of this nonsense over here." You can see this. Uh, what's what's happening? He says. You can read all these these are uh, these comments that they're doing over here. It says uh, it says uh, as it says uh, uh, Western nations have largely ignored this issue because it it, you know, it paints the South African government in a bad light and more whites that live uh, in the West. It's like it says uh, whites Edomites that live the worse uh, the economy becomes. Wait a minute. It says that back in 2014, the last report um, by the Genocide Watch released a report that highlighted serious evidence that the ANC and the government of Zimbabwe had been acting on our as has been acting to secretly arm groups attacking South African farmers in order to drive them out of the country. They also reported that uh, about 80,000 uh, whites, uh, you might know, that num numbers. There's nothing it says whites are method a number that mm, had been uh, the object of much uh, debate was actually likely lower than the real number was uh, around about a hundred thousand. Genocide watch has been under constant pressure to downplay entire white violence in the in the country by West media and polit political groups. Here's the thing, the chickens are coming home to brew, all right. All right, let me read this again. Ecclesiastes chapter 4. All right, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 15 says, verse 14 says, For out of prison you cometh to reign, whereas he that is born in his kingdom is coming, is, is, uh, is becoming poor. All right, what do you think, what, what the hell were you thinking these nations are going to do eventually? Because you would have had your, your time to rule. And you've proven yourself to to be a very unworthy ruler, all right. 
the most high is never going to quit you all right this is time for you to pay to pay for all the blood that you have shed okay fucking up that the heathens the hamites so-called africans you fucked them up all right and you're gonna have to pay all right and amongst them you've laid your hands upon the saints and you're gonna have to pay okay this is a book of Nahum chapter 1 because we've everything has its, its own time and season okay this is a Nahum chapter 1 verse 2 says Yahweh is jealous um, and Yahweh Bashim Yashah avengeth it says Yahweh uh, revengeth revengeth and is furious it says Yahweh will take vengeance on his adversaries he, he reserveth his wrath for his enemies. Okay, his enemies. So, the wrath of the Most High has been reserved unto you because you had, you had certain things had to happen. Uh, you had to you had to take over the world. Okay, it's in its uh, entirety. As it says, Job 9 and 24, the earth has been given unto the hands of the wicked, and he covereth the faces the faces of the judges thereof. And now the casting cast over the, all, all the people has been removed. These nations are waking up to your bullshit. Uh, realizing that you're the fucking devil that the Bible speaks of. Alright? Says that says the first name on one and three says the Lord is slow to anger and greatly and great in power, and he will not at all acquit the wicked. The Lord have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and clouds are as the dust of his feet. Alright, you you will never gonna be acquitted. Uh, for you took them out, the so called South Africans, okay. Canaanites, you took them out. All these different Hamites, different so-called Africans, you took them out. All these different nations. When have you ever paid? You've been paid back for your wickedness. Okay, for for gruesome, gruesome murders that you've committed. Millions and millions of, of people that died at your hands. Rape, robbery. Okay. It, and that still continues until this very day. Okay, you're still profiting of these nations. All right, you're still profiting unto this very day, and the tables are, 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 are turning right now. Okay, the tables are turning right now. Where where did they flee to? Did they go? Did have they? Did when you were coming here and conquering uh, the exact same uh, so-called South Africans? Okay, uh, the natives of this land. When you when you came here, did they seek a refuge in Madagascar and fled from you? No. Did they flee to Zimbabwe? No, man. You were conquering all over. Like I read the first scripture in Ecclesiastes 4 and uh, 14. Okay. Everybody became poor. Okay. You oppressed each and every single nation upon the planet. Okay. And everybody's going to come and turn up against you, man. All right. Rightfully so. They never fled nowhere. They were, they were, they were, there was none to help. Cause, cause it was your time, uh, It was man, it, it was a manifest destiny, uh, It was, it was, was already ordained by the Heavenly Father you, that you're gonna, you're gonna take all, you're gonna take over. So now, your downfall has begun. Okay, there ain't no stopping or killing you Edomites. Uh, the final uh, killing of of you Edomites, okay, you so-called Caucasians, white, whatever. Uh, false pretenses of name you go under by the end of you being killed uh, is going to be after you serving a thousand years all right of slavery for a thousand years under the kingdom of heaven which is going to be established on this very very planet that you walk on okay then you're going to be exterminated all right this is when uh obadiah one let me get it obadiah one in 18. this is the only time when the killings of you so-called um, whites, so-called Caucasians, right, Africanus, Boers, whatever, okay, you Edomites, this is when y y your killing is going to stop, okay, because you're going to be exterminated, man. you're the virus, okay, and the cause and the root of all the problems that all the society, all the nations in this, in this, in this entire planet are facing, you're the root and the cause of it, okay, global warming who's behind it okay anyway this is all but this is 
this is when all, all, all the, the killings okay of you Edomites you so called white okay because you're red you're not white this is when it's gonna stop okay so book of Obadiah chapter 1 verse uh, 18 says and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame uh, so called Hispanics and Native, Ameri Native Americans uh, the house of Jacob you so called Negroes Okay, so called West Indies and Haitians, uh, and the descent is scattered throughout the four winds. Uh, it says, uh, And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Jacob a flame, and the, and the house of Esau, so called whites, so called uh, Africanus, Boers, the French, the British, all of you. Uh, it says, For stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and they shall be not. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh have spoken it. All right. There is your answer, man. All right. This is when uh, uh, your so-called kinglings are going to end. All right. And that's justified. You've been killed, that's justified. Because right. you're guilty. All right. There's nothing wrong with vengeance. Okay. There's nothing wrong with vengeance, man. And guess what? As as Israelites, we're gonna get our our vengeance when when our Messiah, Hamashiach Yahweh when he comes back. Okay, the one you even even call Jesus Christ when he comes back, his name is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, that's when we're gonna have our vengeance on you, heathens, man. Okay. That's when we're gonna have our vengeance. All right. Let's get the book of uh, Revelation. Alright, so the book of Revelation 13. Okay, this is the book of Revelation chapter 13. Verse 9 says, If any man have any ill of them here, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Alright, that's what exactly what we're doing. Patiently waiting for your demise. Or till the Lord comes and and deliver us, or so we could have our, our hands in the neck of our enemies, or because right now you've been found to be liars, man. Or you know you know, you're not innocent. You're far from being innocent. History shows it, man. Okay, the history books shows it. Or you have left nothing but a trail of blood. Or and somehow you thought you're gonna get away with it. No, man. There ain't no stopping. Your blood from being shed? No, man. There's no way. Okay. There is no way is that gonna happen. All right. There's no way that's that's gonna happen. Okay. Let me get another scripture in Jeremiah 49. <coughs> so the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49. Because uh, somehow you were still under the illusion that you've you've gotten away with what you've done. The most high is never mocked. Uh, it's a book of Jeremiah. All right, chapter forty-nine, verse twelve says, "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh: Behold, these whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have surely are drunken, and now thou he that shall all to altogether go unpunished." All right. Look, look what happened here, man. You've been the bloodshed where where wherever you've been, wherever you your foot has touched the the, the soil, alright, you still have to pay. Genesis chapter nine. Okay. Genesis chapter nine. Alright, it says that Jeremiah forty nine verse twelve says says I behold Jeremiah Chapter 49, verse, uh, verse 12 says, Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, this whose judgment was not to drink of the cup of shoulder drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. Because uh, Israelites, the so called Hispanics and Native Americans, what happened? Uh, we've surely drunken of the Mosai's cup. 
Okay, the same thing that's going to happen to you Edomites. Okay, you so-called Caucasians, Africans, Boer, French, the British, whatever false or pretenses of name you go under, you are the Edomites. You're going to get it. Okay. There ain't no stopping. Uh, you, the killings of you Edomites is only just beginning. Okay. Although you, you're still ex exaggerating. Okay. Because it's not as bad as you make this to be, but it's going to be bad. Okay. It's going to be bad. Okay. What's coming to you? All right. Like the scripture says, in fact, let me just try to get this. Okay. Ecclesiasticus. Uh, let me get this in Ecclesiasticus. I right. believe in 35. So the book of Ecclesiasticus 35. Ecclesiastes chapter 35. Okay. Verse 5 says, uh, it's like it. Yeah. So the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 35, 36 and 5 says, And let them know thee as, as we have known thee. For there is no power but only thou, O Yahweh, Pashm Yahushah. Alright, just like what has happened we've befallen us Israelites, okay, our captivity. Alright. Even the state that we in, the same thing that's gonna happen unto you. You're gonna know the most high, okay? You're gonna know him. Alright. As we have known Yahweh Pashm Yahushah, okay. But for you, it's going to be what? It's going to be double, okay? It's going to be double, as the scriptures do say, okay? In fact, the book of Revelation. Uh, Revelation, uh, what is that, 18? Book of Revelation, chapter 18. So uh, this is uh, the book of Revelation chapter 18 verse 5 says, For his sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh have remembered her iniquities. And this is the beginning of, of the most I remember the all atrocities that you committed against the chosen nation, okay, the sons of Jacob, which are you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and your descendants scattered abroad. Alright. Guess what? And also going to what? The law when, when our, the missiles are gonna drop on the US of A. It's gonna be turned into a lake of fire. Okay, all of you Israelites you're gonna fucking die who are not gonna be found worthy, okay, to stand before the judgment seat of Hamashak Yahweh Shai. Who's gonna who, who's not gonna be found uh, on the right hand side of the Messiah when he comes back? Those who are not gonna be abiding under the almighty wings of the Almighty. Uh, you're gonna die, you're not gonna be delivered. Okay, you won't, you're gonna become missile food, okay, in, in the US of A. Okay, because that place is gonna be fucking be destroyed, man. Too much blood of the saints have been shed there, okay. Because that place is fucking wicked, man. Okay, verse uh, 6 says, Reward her even as she uh, rewarded you. What have you done, Esau? What have you done? What have you done? Okay. What the fuck have you done? There's nothing to be afraid of. If you have done good, yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't fucking worry. Okay. But guess what? You guilty as fuck. Okay. Revelation 18. So book of Revelation 18 and 6 is reward her even as she has rewarded you. Double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup which she have filled, fill to her double. Nah, so you can't fucking escape saying you're gonna escape to harass you. No, man, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Okay. Book of Psalms. Okay. 
So the book of Psalms, the last scripture, book of Psalms, 149. Okay, it's not going to work. Okay. Psalms 149 verse 6 says, Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen, and punishment upon the people eventually all you nations you're gonna get it but guess what then there's one nation which has a very special special judgment from the Lord okay and these are this is the nation right here you Edomites you're gonna all gonna get it man uh, your, your, your fellow brothers you want you you're trying to go and uh, seek refuge from them the Australians they fucked up the aborigines over there the jeffites they fucked them hard okay same thing with the of your 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 fellow brothers over there okay in uh, in europe the russians okay still edomites they fucked all the nations up you're still gonna get the exact same judgment okay it's not gonna be according to your to your mind as the scripture says in the book of Job. All right. Anyway. Anyway, let me just go back in Psalms 49. Okay, this is a book of uh, Psalms chapter 49. So the book of Psalms chapter 49, verse 7. Okay. It says, uh, mm, it says that to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. Alright, it says, an uh, punishment upon the people, okay, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. There's a reason behind when it says the feathers of iron, okay, because it's actually less than what, what you deserve, man, okay. It is fucking less than what you deserve, man, because uh, the scripture speaks about touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm. We, then the anointed are, are the nation of Asher all right, a holy nation, okay, and a holy, holy nation, okay. So it's actually, it's actually uh, less than what you actually deserve, okay? It says, uh, to bind the kings with the chains, with chains, which is what captivity, slavery, okay, for a thousand years. Revelation chapter nine, uh, 13, 9 and 10 says, he that liveth into captivity shall go into captivity, all right? If you live by the sword, you're going to fucking die by the sword, okay? It says, uh, to... to so as to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of fire to execute upon them judgment written all right with this honor of all his saints praise ye yahweh all right in fact let me close up the book of job chapter 34 okay so the book of job chapter 34 okay this is the last scripture job so like here so the book of job Chapter 34. Okay. Because nobody can ever mock the Most High. All right. He said in the book of Isaiah, he declares the end from the beginning. Okay. The way that goes out of his mouth, he, it does never, nor has it ever went out all in vain okay so the book of job chapter th chapter 34 all right verse 30 33 30, 30, 30, 30 says should it be according to thy mind it says he will recompense it whether thou refuse or whether thou choose all right because that's how the most high works it says should it be according to thy mind really he will recompense it whether thou refuse or whether thou choose and not I and therefore speak what thou knowest because you don't know shit okay there's no way around it judgment is coming okay with that all praises unto Yahweh Bashim Yashai Bashim Rakakatash the blessing unto the other apostles of great most shalom shalom to the hopeful elect shalom